Hello and greetings. On this video, I'll teach how you set up your recordings under your MB server. Um, I've been actually doing the recordings for um, about three, four days now, and I've been testing them out. The only thing you do need to have a premium or prime um, account with MB to be able to do your recordings. But once you do, it works pretty good. Um, let me go ahead and open. Um, the Google Chrome and there's my website come kicking in this is the one that I did yesterday uh, how you set up your Kodi and today we're gonna go to the actual um, so how you actually set up all the, the actual live recordings and again I'm using H uh, XPNC excuse me um, uh, HD home run pro and it works really good with that uh, but here it goes let me go and log in so one thing to remember is um, your port so you can see my my IP is right here so 199.168.71.201 and then port 8096 okay so we're gonna go ahead and log in and you'll notice also that I set up a user called Cody um, so I have a user Cody. Um, there's also a user uh, remote. Those are the two users that I actually have um, that I use pretty much for what I do remotely. Cody, because obviously I log in with my Co with my Cody media player, and a remote is more when I'm the kids in or myself log in with the, on the mobile. So. Let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna log into uh, my login, which has admin rights. So, okay. So the first thing you're you're greeted by is obviously your your dashboard, and you'll notice on on mine now, I actually have stuff on my recordings, and how you actually accomplish this is um, let me actually go into the settings part of it so I'm going to go ahead, click on the gear on the upper right and then you're, you're greeted by the actual main dashboard the settings dashboard so you would actually click on live TV right here and you'll notice it's going to tell you your tuner so I'm using HD home run it gives you your IP uh, remember on video one I showed you how to set up your your TV guides and then my tuners all three tuners are available right now but you'll notice here on the top there's a section for settings you click on settings it's gonna ask you where your recordings are gonna go so you just give them your destination and then towards the bottom default padding especially some uh, Disney Channel uh, series for whatever reason um, they always end up or, or the schedule that that I get or the guide for whatever reason will stop before so I always do a padding of five minutes I'm just gonna click on save yeah so uh, let's go ahead and jump into the, the actual playing side of it so we're gonna click on the little house right here in the upper left and now how you actually set up your recordings is you first go under live TV and you go under guide so now on guide what you're going to do is actually um, find the channels I'm going to do high definition so well actually you know what it doesn't really matter because um, let's, let's, uh, let's say here my wife does um, a f a fox so let's go ahead and say this one here so it shows you at the bottom what what you've already recorded and you can see it's, it's for the kids uh, but it you would actually click on on this uh, record so you click on that and then you're going to be greeted by by this window let me zoom in oops okay so it tells you where it's going to go I you have the choice to record the series 
Um, if you record the series, it's going to dump it onto the series folder. If you don't, then it's just going to dump it onto the TV recorded. So, um, so th that's up to you. Uh, so we're going to say yes. Uh, new episodes and on all channels uh, that gets a little bit um, if it, if you have high definition and regular channels um, it ends up just recording it double so that's really up to you um, so for now I'm just gonna say no don't record in all channels and then here in advance you're gonna notice that the padding's already done so if you didn't do the defaults on under your settings this is where you would actually do your padding. Once you're done, you would actually click here on record. Uh, so you click on record and let me zoom out. And now you'll notice that it's gonna start getting ready. Now where you actually, for it, let's say you wanna get back to it and you, you wanna get, get back to your recording later on. Let's go, let's go start at, back at home. So let me go ahead and click on home okay so from here you would actually click on under your live TV and under your series you're going to notice all your series that you have pending to record so let's say you want to delete this one you would actually just click on delete or if you want to manage it let's say you want to give it more padding or remove more padding this is where you would actually click on it remove or, or select whatever days you want and then adjust your padding. Let me go ahead and zoom in. So you can actually start seeing all this. So all your days and then um, the record the schedule. I mean, this is where you would actually manage it. Um, let me zoom out. Now, it, now to, to save it, there's no save button. All you would just, just click on the back arrow uh, and you're back. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. Um, Hopefully the video wasn't too short. If it was, let me know and I'll go ahead and create another one with a lot more details. Um, and again, subscribe, all that good jazz, a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.